my name is Andrea Hanskin and this is Thrifting in the Gem City. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about a way to make your life more sustainable that's super easy and it really impacts what you're doing every single day and that is your shower routine. So a little bit ago I switched from using a bottle of shampoo and a bottle of body wash to using a bar of soap and a shampoo bar. And some people are really intimidated by this idea of a shampoo bar, it is super easy. You just like rub it on your head and then it suds up really nicely and you can wash your hair just like normal. And today I wanted to talk about this package I just got from Fox and Sock Soapery. So I have bought one thing from them in the past. They are a very small business um, run by one girl. I'll try to find her name and put it on the screen. Um, I met them at the Second Street Market, which is a little like market of a lot of small businesses that is in Dayton. That is closed right now because of COVID. So I still wanted to support her because she's really doing great things with um, all natural products, sustainable products. And so I wanted to do a little bit of unboxing of what I ordered online from her since I had to have it shipped to me instead of going in the store. So as you can see, the box says Fox and Socks Soap around it. It's super cute, it's just a normal cover box. And then when you open it up, super cute little display. She has some information. Supporting communities one bar at a time. Thank you for being awesome supporting my small business. My mission at Fox and Socks is to support local business and build stronger local community. I do this by sourcing as many of my ingredients locally as possible. With every wash, you could be supporting up to 10 local and small businesses and charitable organizations in Dayton, Ohio. So I think that's incredible. Not only is she a small business, but she sources from small businesses. So she's just really doing the most for my community. So I wanted to support her. Um, and I'm probably gonna take this and turn it into a bookmark. Freddie with a lot of um, things that they have like a nice print on one side, I just cut them into a bookmark size. So I don't have to just throw it away or recycle it. This is so cute. It talks um, a little bit about how to use some of her products um, that some people might not be familiar with. So that's really cool. And I'll probably turn that into a bookmark as well. This nice orange like melon kind of tissue paper. See, first we have my shampoo bar. So as you can see, instead of being wrapped in plastic, this is wrapped in this nice paper that I can easily recycle or even if I had compost at my house, which I don't, um, I'm trying to get that started soon. I had it in my old apartment, but just in my parents' house, we don't have compost. Um, I could even compost this. So this is the Crowd Pleaser um, Vegan Shampoo Bar. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's a lemongrass um, scent. So fresh and clean. I wish you could smell this. Super pleased with the way that this is packaged and the way it smells. Also have this bar of normal soap and I don't, I'm like scared to open it right now. I, I think I should there just to show you what it looks like on the inside because I know this is gonna be really pretty. Okay, I'm glad I opened this because it is adorable. So it has this like lemon kind of paper wrapped around it with the logo, the Fox and Sock Soapery logo and it's the Lavender Lemonade, and I'll even slip it out of this to show you the whole bar itself. So it's even imprinted with the Fox and Sock Soapery, and as you can see, it's that really nice like raw edge, and this is just, this one also smells incredible, and this is beautiful, and I probably won't get the chance to use this one just yet, just because I do have a lot of other um, soaps that I need to use up first, but I just wanted to, since I was paying for shipping, order as many things as I possibly could, and I just noticed this wrapper she used, is leftovers of one of those other informational things. So she's really being zero waste and just using everything she has and not wasting anything, which I really appreciate. The last thing I got is this bath bomb. So this again is wrapped in paper instead of plastic. This is the mermaid bath bomb. I will go ahead and open it up so you can see it. It's this nice like pink and blue color. And I maybe used a bath bomb like once or twice in my life. I think that's the original thing I purchased from her when I saw her at Second Street Market was a bath bomb. Um, I just, I don't know. I just have never really gotten that into it. I know a lot of people love bath bombs, but I'm gonna try it out and see if I like it. Um, my friend Courtney, who you probably saw in my donation vlog, she is the bath queen. She literally has so many bath bombs. She'll take like three hour baths, which I have never done before. But the goal with this bath bomb is to try, maybe not three hours, but if I'm gonna have a bath for like 15 minutes, I'm gonna try to take a little bit more of a long, relaxing bath with this bath bomb. So those are the three things that I got, the shampoo bar, the body bar, and the bath bomb. And each of those were around six or seven dollars each, which I think is super reasonable considering the mission behind her business, the fact that it's a small business and that she's supporting other small businesses to make her products and everything's natural and as close to zero waste as you can possibly get. Thank you so much for coming to another video. Please subscribe for more um, videos like this. I do mostly thrifting videos with a little bit of a 
like spice of other sustainability related stuff like the sustainable shower haul that I showed you today. Thanks y'all.